Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 803. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 803 to 805, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, this question comes from this person at YouTube. They have this data set and they need to count. They need to count two B's, but they also wanted to count greater than two B, and there's actually greater than two B's in our data set. So let's just see how to do count if. Count if range and criteria. Well, the range is all this, and I am going to copy this formula down, so I need to lock it. So I'll hit the F4 key, comma, and then the criteria. Well, I'm just going to start off um, looking at the criteria in the cell. So 2B, this will count. And we should get, there's 1, 2B, so we should get a count of 1. Now, when I copy this formula down, you can see it's still got locked range, but now it's looking at the criteria greater than 2B. But why are there three? there's only two greater than two Bs. Well, the reason why is it's seeing that comparative operator. And it's doing an alphabetical count of everything greater than two B. So uh, two B, th uh, that's not going to be included. But this will be included because three is greater than two. This one will be included also. And so will this one. And it comes from the fact that. Um, there's something called ASCII characters, 255. Now before I show you those and show you the hierarchy and why this one, this one, and this one are being counted when you put in that criteria, the solution is to do this. All right. Now how did I put equal um, greater than 2B? I actually did a little formula like this. Now this little bit right here, you could hard code this into the criteria area. I'm going to copy and enter. This will work. Right? So now it's looking at that criteria, and it says equals that right there. And so then it only counts one, two. The other way to do this, of course, would be to copy this down. And then instead of using D5, you could Control V and put this equals and then greater than 2B. Two. And then it will count uh, two. Well, let's go ahead and look at ASCII characters. Now there's a function called. Uh, character that'll show us the character. But first, we need the numbers 1 to 255, because that's the rank or the hierarchy that uh, Excel uses when it sees, gr sees greater than. It does all characters, not just numbers, but also letters. So I'm going to use a create a formula right here that will create the numbers 1 to 255. Now, you could use row if you started up here. But if you ever insert any columns above, uh, then your formula gets wrecked. So when you're incrementing numbers in a formula, you always want to use something like rows. And then I'm sitting in G2. So I'm going to type G and then lock the row reference to colon G2. So what this does, it's an expandable range. So I can copy this down. And you can see here, it's expanding. So it's just saying, how many rows are there? Uh, two to five, there are four. So I'm going to copy this all the way down to 255. Notice in, in 2007 and 10, when you drag it down, uh, it slows down when it gets uh, near the last cell that's been used. And that was the last cell that was used. All right, now let's go up here. And I'm going to do equals character. And all this is going to do is you put the number in. And I'm going to put all the numbers in so we can see all the characters. I'm going to double click and send this down. You could see 10 is actually a hard return in a cell, like word wrap. But there's 0, 1, 2, 3. So those are at the bottom, right? So 2, of course, is going to be less than 3 because it's 50. Uh, and there's the letters. So the letters are um, bigger in terms of uh, comparing to these. Not only that, but here's the capitals. The capitals come first, and then here's the uh, lowercase letters. If you go all the way down to the bottom, Control down arrow. Notice I did uh, two too many. 255 is the last ASCII character. But I put that there so we could see that that's true. Now, let's go ahead and do one more thing just to prove to ourselves that, in fact, uh, for this one right here, we should get three true truths. I want to do a formula. Equals, is anything in the cell next to me greater than 2B? So this is simulating this criteria here. And I'm going to lock that. So I'm going to hit F4. Both. And so when we double click and send this down, 
we should get a true there, because that one is greater than, this one is greater than, and this one is also, all because of ASCII characters. So uh, learning a little bit about the greater than symbol and ASCII characters, and if you really want to count greater than 2b, then you can do something like this. All right, see you next trip.